Hey guys, welcome back to Avorian! This amazing space simulator where we get to go around and do everything that we want to do in space, be it build and fly ships, fight at them, or even go around and do a little bit of trading. My name is Twitchy, and last time we had got ourselves this main ship that we are flying around and this little mining vessel that is going around under our command and collecting up a whole bunch of materials. Today I want to go around and I want to look at some combat. I don't think we're ready to get involved in combat yet, but I most definitely want to go and have a look at some combat. We want to see if there are any pirates or Zoltan around, so we can watch the uh, the AI defend itself, and maybe, maybe perform a little bit of battlefield scavenging. Mm -mm. But right now in this sector, I feel like there's a lot of materials that my little mining dude can go around and get. Please don't hurt me. Oh, that kind of hurt. Uh, but I... <laughs> So I'm going to let this guy go around and collect a few materials, and in about 5-10 minutes, I think it's time for us to start heading towards the centre of the galaxy. But before we even do that, you can see that I have a little bit of a problem. If I boost after my mining ship, you can see that I am drifting. Drifting quite badly. As you can see, I have now destroyed my my engines because of how slow I slowed down. Oh, what's, what's that over there? Am I not allowed to go and get it? Let's use my thrusters. Thrusters should not actually really be giving me the uh, forward velocity that I have. How about if I go uh, sideways? Can we... Can we try and push sideways at it? I think we can. I think we can. Okay, it's not going to let me pick that up, I don't think, because I don't have any sort of cargo hold. But as I was saying, we need to go ahead and fix it. Please don't crash into me. Wow. So let's fix all this up. I didn't actually mean to slam my engines into the asteroid, as you may or may not have noticed, but, you know, we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. What, what is it? Your ship is severely damaged. Repair it in building mode or at a repair dock. I believe we can actually go to repair dock and fix our ship a lot easier than I was going to, but, you know, with the fact that we don't have an engine uh, and we're going to have to try and, and work things out, it gives me a beautiful opportunity to go ahead and put some things on that I wanted to put on earlier. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a nice little framework here that I want to you cannot edit a damaged ship repair it first this is something i've never had to do before this is the first time by the way that i've severely damaged my vessel so let's try and figure that out shall we here it is repair button on the left if you see my mouse here we go down we've got building blocks turrets colors repair i'm gonna just hit the repair yeah no, no no repair that if you could all right beautiful beautiful what i actually want to do as well is try and fit some extra blocks in in particular somewhere in here there is one block that i am after here it is the inertial dampener. I'm particularly after that. Oh, look, we got a gyro array. There's a whole bunch of stuff here that I don't really play around with enough. Things uh, like the inertial dampeners. But because we are traveling so slow, I am going to use this as an opportunity to go ahead and uh, change my ship a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, but I do know I want to uh, mix it up. Okay, so I ended up taking the engines out and replacing them with framework anyway, just to move them back a block, to be honest with you. Uh, that's good with me because because I need to put at least two uh, inertial dampeners on either side. And then I would actually like to, uh, if I click that and then also shift click. No, it's not shift click. Well, how do I multi-select? There's a button. There's a question there. So it's uh, middle click to select. But I was wondering whether we can select more than one. It, it turns out maybe not. Ah, control. Control click does both. Okay, and then with the uh, inertial dampener selected, I can go transform all selected blocks and go boop. And get myself a couple of inertial dampeners on the side there. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's colour this place up. Now, I've left a little bit of framework in the middle for whatever it is I decide I need next. And to be honest, I know what I need next. If we come down to the titanium, I want to put one of the integrity fill generators. Should we, should we do that right now? I think we should do that right now, actually. I was going to be like, oh, we'll do it later when I can afford it. Ah, uh, I need 2,000 credits. So I'll do that later when I can afford it. Some items cannot be picked up immediately. For example, when you're the one who dropped them. Well, when can I... Oh, denied for you runs out in one minute. Okay, I guess we'll wait for the end of the minute. Oh, look at him over there. Do it, doing his old, like, mining thing as if nothing had gone wrong. Let's see if I can slow down in anywhere near a fast amount of time. Oh, oh did you see that? Let's, let's head towards this asteroid. That's a very bad idea. I don't know why I'm doing it. Ah... Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's that's wonderful. That is amazing. I'm going to hang around and wait for this, though. I don't know how much cargo space I have. Do you know how much cargo space I have? Cargo hold, zero. I mean, that's easy enough, right? <laughs> 
So checking around all the systems, turned out that I had worked down the timer. Uh, we've just found out that I have no cargo hold. What happens when I try and pick it up? I've got fear it's just going to bounce off me. That that should be the way, but let's find out. Hi, how you doing? Let's drive into... No, it's like, no, no. All right, then. Not enough room in your cargo, mate. I thought this was the case. Shame. Okay, whilst waiting around for my mining vessel, I selected the shipyard. I actually went through a lot of the different... Um, different stations here. Uh, I went to the bulletin board and saw that there was a transfer vessel mission. I don't, I've literally never taken these, so I think I might give it a go. You guys up for giving it a go? If you if you want to transfer our vessel, you have to pay a deposit for the ship. You'll get it back if you bring the ship to the given location. The deposit is set at more money than I've got. I understand the terms, we'll pay the money. You don't have enough money to pay the necessary deposit. We can't give you the job. Ah, well, there we go. Learning experience for the both of us there. Okay, so is this now the shipyard? Is that teleported me to the shipyard? No, this is the ice mine. Wow, what has happened here? Okay, so this mining vessel is going to be going around doing a lot of stuff. I noticed a titanium asteroid over there, and I also noticed looking around that there's a lot of iron asteroids still around. So we're not going to go ahead and do that. We're going to press F. We're going to go, hey, bulletin board over here. This guy wants us to deliver some water, and he just wants 53 cargo space to be able to do that. Now, obviously, we don't have any cargo space right now, but that is not going to be too hard to uh, to, to adjust here. If we get the cargo bays and then get rid of all that, uh, I, I reckon we could literally just go one, two, three... For oh no, I'm out of monies. We knew this was going to be a problem. How, mu how much is my cargo space right now? Let's have a look. Cargo hold, 47. It's pretty good. Can we merge these blocks together? That was definitely a thing that we could do, right? Okay, so we've selected all of those, and if I merge the selected blocks, look at the cargo hold, the blue number. Bam, 55. Ah, oh, that's, that's very close. That's very, very close. Can I, do can I remove this one? Do I get money back if I remove it? No, I don't. Ah, that's a shame. I was going to be like, can I remove this one? Put that one there and then merge. Ah, it does work. It does work. And then if we just, like, merge these together, does that? No, it doesn't like that. 55.1, though. That, that sh is that is that enough? It was 53 they wanted, right? Bullet on board, deliver the water uh, to a social in location in 20 minutes. You'll need uh, a bunch of... Yeah, 53. Okay, accept this. You have to be docked to the station. Wow, the hell? That's, that's a bit obvious. I don't know why we hadn't have done that already. Where's my... Where's my ship? There's my ship. <laughs> Not sure if I'm about the way that my ship looks here, but, you know, it's, it's looking all right. It's, it's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, bulletin board. Uh, take the delivery of water. You must have enough money for a deposit. What money for the deposit? Where? Ah, uh, okay. I know how to fix this as well. We've got a mining ship going around doing stuff. Let's go and sell that. Oh, you have received an emergency signal from an unknown source. New mission, search and rescue. If I press M, uh, it should show us a new location on the map somewhere. But I, I'm not that bothered by these little missions that keep coming in from all sorts of different areas and stuff. Because they're mainly pirates, as they, I think. I don't know for certain. I've never gone and answered them, so. Uh, but but I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not going to fall for a pirate trap. No, no, no. All right, so during that time, I have made my way over to the resource uh, depot over here. I may have had a slight collision with an asteroid on the way, but thankfully it didn't actually cause me any damage. I just ended up spinning around very quickly. It was fun. I, I had a lot of fun anyway. I had a lot of fun anyway. Right, we need to get close enough to this docking area here to activate the tractor beam and pull us in. Hi, how are you doing, Mr. Resource Doc? Do you want to buy some equipment off me? Yeah, you see how we've got all of this iron. Yeah, they haven't got any. It won't... Oh, wait. It won't sell... Hmm, they won't, they won't buy titanium off of me. Deliver a whole bunch of titanium. What? Do they need it? Is it something they're missing? It's not something that I'm willing to sell, though. Anyway, as I was saying, we want to make two and a half grand. As they're selling for 4.2, I reckon if we sell a thousand, that will actually put us some in the back pocket, right? Is that Did that actually work? 4,002... Yeah, that did work. All right, back to the uh, to the people that wanted the, the water. Is it the water? Okay, let's try this again. Back at the ice mine, which for some reason they want water. Okay, that's cool. Or maybe that that's me delivering water from the ice mine. I don't know. Here, give me that water for deposit. Okay, please deliver the goods to this place. Oh, that's not a nearby sector at all. 
Why would you tell me this is nearby? Ah, uh, well, we're off on a mission, guys. I hope you're ready for it because we're going to do it. All right, I need to tell my little dude to follow me. Now, where is he? Okay, the easy way of doing this is going to F9. I'm going to select my uh, slag shifter 9000 and then press F to interact. We're going to go orders and we're going to go escort me, my friend. Yes, indeed. Now that we are being escorted, we are going to leave this place. I'm looking for the south gate because we need to travel southwards quite a lot it turns out I, I, it's really not it's really not around here it's in a, oh, okay right here we go let's let's go and find it f9 is there a south gate south gate to empowering agony oh that that sounds like totally the place i want to go let's let's go and check out the sex are called empowering ag agony also incidentally with this much cargo hold on i am sluggish like sluggish sluggish Okay, first jump of a gate, and we have got an empty system. Literally just an empty system. Great. Okay, we're going to um, Zenoan Insanity. Yeah, that that also sounds like a place I want to check out. This, this, uh, this place here, great name, terrible facilities. There doesn't actually appear to be anything around. I wonder if we need to, like be within range of something if i was to just drive off to a random direction would i find a pirate base in the middle of nowhere that we didn't scan because it was too far away it's a possibility that's a question i would like to know if anybody has the answer to oh incidentally we made it all the way down here three jumps because uh, thanks to the gate system that's pretty cool though i'm fairly sure my my ship can jump that far uh just needs to uh hope that we get a much further distance from one of these gates uh indeed we're gonna be coming through this one i hope that my mining ship is relatively close behind me i don't think it's um suffering when it comes to maneuverability well maneuverability yes thrust no all right what have we got in here we've got a uh, actual station with actual things going on that's a steel factory over there it's generally a good idea on your way through southeast gate to avorian district one wow i don't know if that's the type, type of place we want to go to where are we even headed to it's it's further south right maybe this isn't the they said that was a south gate. I don't know. This this looks like it goes for a long distance, though. So let's try that, and then maybe we can go back that way. Yeah, I know we can change our home sector, but honestly, I don't even know what the home sector does for you. Okay, so I've got... Two, oh, south, southwest is where we came from. Ignore that. Ignore that. Okay, so we came in this way. I'm going to take the southeast gate out of here, but man, that's 30 kilometers towards this rocky planet over here. It's a shame that you can't actually land on any of the planets. One of the big shames, um, I, I think. Uh, do you know what? I've not actually tried flying towards one of the planets, but I, I've got a feeling, just a small feeling, that it is just a skybox over there. Okay, coming up to another gate. Let's have a look at our position on the map right now. Fly through and see where we end up. Could be anywhere. Could be, oh, I had a new map. Did you, it gave me an, a, a, a piece of information down on the bottom left just as I jumped. We'll have to have a look when we get back in. Uh, you have new mail. Press L to open mail. All right, L. What have we got here? Combat instructions. Hi there. Uh, the galaxy is a dangerous place. Before venturing out, you should know how to defend yourself. Step one, attach one or more um, turrets to your ship. Done that. Find an empty sector and destroy pirates with your turret. Okay, uh, we, we might do that at some point, but empty sectors? Say what? Also, we're all the way over here now. Let's try and find out where we... Look at this place. This looks very formal. Nice. There's a cow farm over there. Sheep branch, in fact. That's a sheep. Looks like a cow. So I pressed I. I clicked the missions tab, and I'm clicking deliver water. I don't want to uh, abandon. We've got 14 minutes. Show that location. Uh, we, we've kind of come out quite a distance. Though I feel like we are coming in the right direction. Let's carry on down and see if we can't go west at the last moment. That's the next gate we want to take. Let's go for it. Do you want to take note of the different things that are here? Gas collectors, water, wheat... Fire. This looks like a good place to go around and um, supply one of the, the habitats. So one of the station types is a biomium or something, something like that. Anyway, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a place where people live. And they're, they're one of the stations that is almost entirely consumption rather than production. So they take in food and water and power uh, and uh, you can make 
make a tidy profit doing that. That's that's where I intend to make a lot of my money, is doing trades like that. But first, you know, of course, we need to run some missions, get some capital together, find out exactly how we can uh, leverage an advantage in this particular galaxy here. And I can tell you one of the ways I definitely need to try and lever advantage is getting a bit more power on the go. It looks like that I am severely limited by the amount of space that I can uh, do a boost through. So we're going to have to try and sort that out. Of course, each new sector is a new site and a new handful of possibilities. A Gauss Rail Factory. Ah, oh, nanobots, plasma cell, plasma unit, transformer, fighter factory. Nice. Turret factory. Supplier. What is that? Wow, look at that. Okay, that that's cool. This, this guy's literally right here. I don't want to fly down there. 47 kilometers. Wow. Okay, we are looking to go southwest. West, southwest? That, that one might be the one, actually, as long as it's not the one directly behind me. It's the one direct. Oh, no, it's not. It's that one. Okay. The one directly behind me is the north-northwest. We want to take the southwest, uh, the west-southwest. Thankfully, arrows on the screen show you where you want to go all the time. That That's good. I like I like the, uh, the HUD system here. It's really nice. Really nice. I'm looking forward to the point later on in the game where you've got giant fleets going around doing a whole bunch of stuff for you. Because at the moment, flying from gate to gate is a bit of a boring time in between. I've got to be honest with you. It's nice seeing new stuff all the time, though. Look at this. Oh. Oh, look, they, they, they want to pay me for my resources. And this looks like an area where you can quite happily... Oh, look, if you reorientate yourself, it looks... Looks like we're on a flat plane here. Um, this looks like a place where we can come and pick up all the resources and then sell it to them. I'm surprised they're not like, hey, this is our sector. You've got to pay a cut. You know, what is that over there? Let's let's click it and find out. It is a trading post. Trading posts are quite nice. I should show you this. Uh, if we go to the trade goods, no, that's the higher crew. Can we not please? Thanks. Uh, if we come down to the trade goods, you can see that they uh, will buy all this stuff. They you can also sell the same stuff to them. Trading trading station are literally a place to trade the stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There also was another thing on there that I've not seen before. What's the buy cargo license? Illegal cargo transport license? Stolen cargo? Suspicious and dangerous. Wow. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at that at some point. Also, did you guys just notice these guys all pop in? All together. Where did you guys come from? All right, do we want to go south, southwest, or west? We're going to have to look at the map to find out. Uh, is it this one? Unknown mission. Delivery water. Uh, I'm going to go southwest, I think. To the maelstrom of confusion. What a great name. Okay, so new sector, new set of gates to worry about. Looks like we're going northwest. Yeah, it looks like we're going northwest. Let's do that. Our oh, new sector's put us really close. We're not quite there. Yeah, we need to carry on west. Is that the one, the west? To the Golden Knight. Beautiful. Sounds a much nicer place to go to. Well, it seems we're coming to a sector that's all mines. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. I've selected the gate we want, though, and I think it's that one over there. Uh, southwest gate to the Astral Legacy. And this should actually be the last jump, I'm hoping. We might need to do a bit of a hyperspace jump once we've got it got to where we want to be. But we'll, we'll see what's through here. We'll see what's through here. Also, look how close that gate and that gate are to each other. That's the west-southwest gate to Astral Legacy Gamma, and this is the southwest to Astral Legacy Beta. One of the things to bear in mind whilst flying is if you carry on holding down the forward key, you can open up your menus here and carry on flying whilst having a look at the different... Um, different instructions you've got and this one very much five minutes left okay we need to we need to get moving as fast as we can we've taken uh like most of our time to get here it'd really be nice not to fail the mission but on a technicality of time you know to re uh, so i've got a miss message down on the bottom left client please deliver the cargo to resource depot is that that one that's the trading post where is it where where are you that one over there surely resource depot station quaff I think that's how I'm supposed to pronounce that. Anyway, all right, let's get over there. We're, we're here. We're here, guys. We did a mission. Oh, it's so good. There's something else that I want to do. I wonder if I can do this. Press M. Uh, open up the... Uh, the Oh, no. No, it went wrong. If I go click on that, sorry, and then click on you, and then press mine. Okay, he's going to go around and do some mining now, hopefully, as long as he's not... Yeah, he's going to go around and do some mining whilst I can fly over here and deliver the water. Beautiful. Beautiful. Whenever I'm flying up to a station, I'm, like, spinning around to try and figure out which orientation actually makes sense. Like, is the, is this, uh, the sign supposed to be on the top, or is it this way up with all the signs supposed to be on the top? Who knows? Is that a flat deck at the bottom? Yeah, I, I literally have no idea. <laughs> I suppose technically with it being space, it could be like any way up that it wants to be. Okay, oh, there's an asteroid back there. What, what is that? Why are you 
differently selectable. Oh, because you're an iron asteroid. That's why. All right. Hi. How are you doing? Can I uh, can I dock with one of you guys, please? That would be very helpful. Why do you not have a tractor beam selection? There we go. Get me logged in there. Let's do this. Hey, you are speaking to the automatic instruction response system of the resource Quaff. How can we be of service? Here, take this water. Thank you. We returned your deposit and transferred the reward into your account. Oh, look at the bunnies. Look at the money. We made bunnies, guys. We made bunnies. Mission accomplished. I want to share both a little bit of shame and excitement with you in the same sentence. This is my first mission in this entire game that I have ever completed. Woo! All right, and first things first, before I... Like, my plan now is to hang around and wait for pirates to attack. But first things first, let me just get 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 all this cargo out of here. I want to be... Out, look at all the, like, acceleration and stuff that now has got there. Ooh, yeah. Hey, go, hey, hey, guys. Hey, go, do you... Do you see this massive line here? How do I... Hey, 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 where is it going? It's just off. Oh, I think we should go and find out where that goes. Look at it from here. Uh, there's a wormhole. Four gates and a wormhole. Where does that wormhole lead? Ooh. Now, if I was a sane person, I'd now go off to that wormhole or I'd talk to this station over here and pick up another mission. But I am a YouTuber and I have made promise of the fact that we're going to have some combat. So I'm going to just hang around, let my mining ship go around and take a... Uh, take all these iron mine uh oh my god if i was a sane person at this point i would totally go and get either another mission from the station over there or i'd go and check out that wormhole right now but because i have made promise of some combat at some point what i'm going to do is wait around for this little mining droid here to go and mine all the asteroids around and hopefully before the time he runs out of materials some pirates will uh, teleport into the base and we can go and watch the combat going down though if they don't turn up before all the asteroids have been mined i'm also then going to jump back to this this sector over here the one with the four gates and the wormhole and do the same process there and maybe we'll get some pirates there instead well whilst i am having a lot of fun holding down the roll key and trying to look at the front of my craft so that the uh, ai controlling the orientation is really struggling to point at me i feel like there's not much going on in this uh, this sector at the moment i've been watching this mining dude go around and do his thing for a little while uh, but it's been a good like 15 minutes or so now and i am bored so we're gonna go to one of the other sectors that other sector golden something or other one uh, escort me well we'll go and find one of the oh hey excuse me get out of the way here uh that's astral legacy alpha that is not the one we're looking for if we have a look around the outside of our screen though we've got a couple of other of these gate uh gate tags golden knight one i think was the one we wanted to go to yeah let's go to golden knight one all right new sector and uh it's stuff actually already going down here let's go and have a look and see what's going on on the other side of this sector are these uh these lines actually people being under attack or not i am not sure i think it's actually some uh mining going down what is look at how it's moving around this doesn't look right to me does it look right to you i feel like something might be having a bit of a problem okay i've cruised in closer i'm not sure if that's a smart idea but i've definitely cruised in closer to see what's going on here uh i'm i'm, I'm a little shocked actually i'm a little shocked so there's a mining vessel going on down here what what's going on with this is he taking damage his velocity is pretty high for a station I uh, wasn't really expecting stations to have any velocity at all. What about these guys down this way? They're, they're also having um, having some tractor beams or whatever go out. I think it's actually mining beams. This guy's velocity also up quite whoa, also up quite high. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit scared, but this uh, this seems like the perfect time to send this guy off to go and do some mining. Good luck. Please don't die. Something just got me. I did I did not see anything get me. I think we need to get out of this. Oh my oh wow. Oh what what got me? What got me? Some something just hit me and I don't know what it was. This asteroid seems to be flying away at quite a rate here. I just watched this um mining uh, this mine, in fact, push it with its orange beam. Okay, that's a bit weird. I like it, but it's a bit weird. Okay, so I've been looking at the blue bar underneath going, okay, what is that? And if we come into the tray goods, you watch the blue bar go fill up and then one of these numbers, bam, will top up afterwards. So I think this is actually the processing number, but that doesn't explain why they're bouncing around so much. 
I mean, look at that. Oh, he's coming for me. All right, I promised we'd have a look at combat, and combat does not appear to be coming our way. The wormhole is right ahead of us, but we've got a distress signal coming in from there. I think we're going to go and uh, do a little hyperspace jump. So we enter the coordinates into the nav computer. Uh, the nav computer is calculating your jump routes. Please stand by. Uh, you need to then look over this way, and I believe to do this, we fly and then we do something. We press the button and fly at it and maybe press another button i'll find out in a second i think i think this is all we need to do for a little while though all right well that didn't work well whilst that was failing pirates are attacking the sector so th th that's great right that's what we wanted we'll get rid of that navigation system in a second we'll go see what's going on over here we've got a fair few pirates so i'm hoping that we're going to be able to at least see some business i'm a little bit worried um we're facing in the wrong direction. Yeah, I, I, I know. We should we should get rid of that. Can I can I get rid of it once it? I don't I don't think we can get rid of it once it's once it's put down there. That's a shame. We'll figure that out in a second. Okay, so it looks like everything got taken down, but I'm a little bit worried that we're too far away to see what was going on. This makes me somewhat sad. Okay, so I spent a lot of time coming over to these glittering clouds of debris over here. Uh, turns out we really need to improve our engine drive on this one. It's uh, it's not it's not just a nice. It would it's 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 a necessity. All right, so we're we're gonna fly up towards this wreck here. Please don't please don't clip that asteroid. Uh, and then we're gonna see if there's any salvage to be had. So I can see a glowing thing over here. Let's try and uh, fly into that. It's just uh, wreckage, unfortunately, because we've got no cargo go hold we can't hold on to that but maybe this over here might be what we're actually looking for uh I took it into myself, so who knows? Who knows? There's also another bit of wreckage over there. Now, there are these things called salvage lasers, which enable you to uh, shoot at these guys and get stuff from it. At the moment, all I can do is blow it up and maybe, maybe drop a few items that would have uh, dropped during combat. Uh, I'm hoping that we can get some ship systems or some turrets. That's, that's what I'm really after. That is really what I'm after. Okay, so that was pretty useless. We've got this other wreck over this way, though. Let's try and make our way over there and see if these guys have got anything decent for us. Scavenging, uh, it's, uh, it might not be the most honourable way of getting your stuff, but you know what? It's a lot better than having to actually fight stuff, you know? Oh, oh, that's the type of thing I've been after. So look at this. You see how it's got this weird sort of spiral galaxy structure around it? If we go and pick it up, you can see that we got a shield booster. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Now, obviously, we have one of two, two things we can do with the equipment we're picking up from here. We can either install it on our ship. Uh, if I press P or I, one of these two will take me where I want to go. Here's my inventory, but it must actually have been the ship, so we can go to the systems. And you can see that I've got two slots. Here. Now, my third slot will open up when we get a higher processing power. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a thing to uh, pay attention to there. So we need to try and put some processing power in. I thought it was just volume uh, calculated because my ship got so to a certain size, but it turns out no. Uh, so we've got two upgrades here. We've got a radar upgrade and a shield booster. I'm definitely going to put the shield booster in. Uh, it would help if I've got shields, though, right? I mean, do you remember that hole that we left in the middle of the ship? Whilst we've got that there, let's uh, let's go ahead and have a look, shall we? In the titaniums, we've got a piece that we do not have in the irons. It is the titanium integrity field generator. I'm going to select this uh, this part of um, mesh that I've got in the middle there, framework, and tell it to replace it. And you see how my whole ship turned blue there? Oh, that's that's my shielding. That's great. That's wonderful. I do need to get more energy on here though Because as you can see the required energy 134 gigawatts gigawatts. I don't know what you want to say there uh, But actually we're only producing uh, 116 so I'm gonna start by removing the engines and let's figure out where we can put some of these maybe we want to swap the field generator and the Generator around yeah, I think we do Okay, I made a little thing. Literally all I've done here is to put down a bunch of generators in the middle here. Move my engines to around the outside. I'm not sure if this is better or worse than what we had. I think it's probably worse than what we had, but it will do. Yeah, 121 uh, meters per second squared rather than 141, but it's not, it's not terrible. I also put some thrusters up the front here to be able to turn us around, and I think the integrity field generator should hopefully um, cover the whole ship here. Okay, so let's come out. Uh, I had to turn the integrity generator off earlier uh, because I wasn't producing enough power. But now that we are, whew, and a lot of more power by the looks of it, it should be much better. All right, good. 
Beautiful. Wonderful. I'm very confused. Why won't it let me jump? Ah. Uh, well, it turns out that maybe hyperdrive isn't a thing anymore, at least until I get up to higher, higher tech stuff. But your sensors have picked up a short burst of subspace signals. That tells me I want to head back to civilized area right now. More strange subspace signals. They're getting stronger. Small group of alien ships have appeared. This is what we were waiting for. Now, where do we reckon they are at? Look, there we go. Red markers up above. Oh, it's scary. It's scary. Now, I'm here just to provide backup. I believe this guy over here and this guy over here are going to go in for the actual damage. Oh, look, there's another guy just up and over there. I think the uh, the triangle with a line underneath is just the generalized symbol for the Corvette. Uh, oh, look at them. Explosions happen straight away. Oh, that's nice. Did the other guys already dead man that that was quick that was like quick quick these guys are good at their job okay there's a small pile of wreckage right there let's go and have a look at this so immediately upon arriving i just see a whole bunch of scrap let's blow this up and see if any ship systems fall out of it i'm not holding out great hopes like i say there is this thing called the, the uh, salvaging laser and that's much much better at doing this job than these chain guns that i'm using but you know we, we gotta gotta use the tools that we've got ahead of us obviously there's no way of driving in a nail without some form of hammer okay so let's see what we got nothing nothing at all that is a bit of a shame but with that i am gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where we're gonna go through that hole over there and travel halfway across the galaxy by the looks of it but i'll see you then when what did you see that start spinning when we're gonna do that bye there's some fancy materials here bye